Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Acadia Gurney and I'm going to be a first year middle school math teacher in Colorado. In today's video we're going to be looking at how to create our own digital interactive notebooks and how we can utilize those in the classroom. So I'm going to first start out with showing you um, just the template that I created that I'm going to link down below for you all to use um, if you like it. So the first thing that I have in my interactive notebook is kind of that title page. So it's a place where students can write their names, you can write the um, grade or the content area, the class period, what school you teach at, the school year, and then your name. So you can edit this um, down below and make it um, personalized for each of your students. Next, I have a table of contents slide. Um, and I'll show you how I can use that uh, later on. But essentially, what we're going to do is link specific slides in our table of contents. So then you as the teacher can just click on a specific slide or specific date and go straight there, which is really cool. Next, I just have um, little places for students to write the date, the topic, and the essential question. Again, with your um, template, you can edit it as much as you want. You can take out some of this or add in more. That's totally fine. Um, this is just a very basic template that I thought would be great um, to include in case if any of you wanted it. Next, I just have three different pages um, where students can write their uh, notes. So this is just a pretty basic gray background page. The next one, it just has um, some dot paper on it as well. And then last is just lined paper. So the really cool thing is if you really like, say, maybe the dot paper, but you don't like the other two, you can delete those and only use the dot papers. You can have students pick. Um, whatever you want to do is totally fine. Um, I just thought it was a great way for um, to change it up a little bit, but some of them might be a little hard to read depending on what you're trying to have your students write. So that's totally fine if you want to take it out. And then the last thing I have is a reflection piece and then questions I still have. Um, so students can reflect at the end of the day, maybe write one thing you learned today and then two questions you still have. The great thing about this is then as the teacher, you can go back and look at the questions students still have and um, comment really important links or um, that sort of thing so students can go back and get additional practice. You could comment a YouTube video or comment um, a link to more practice. So this is just a very basic template that you all can download and use if you would like. And so what I'm going to do now is show you how I've used this template to kind of um, implement it into my ideal classroom. So this is just what I've created so far. So this would be maybe for my seventh grade math class, um, which would be period one, for example. Um, I didn't put my school down yet, but then it has um, my year, the year, and then my name. So here's what I was saying about the table of contents. What you can do is you can link specific slides um, to the date. So say I want to go and look at July 12th and make sure the students completed that. You can click um, the link, which is slide nine and it'll automatically take you there. The really cool thing about that is if you have um, a notebook that has a ton of pages in it, so this is just two days, very basic example, and it's already 13 slides. So this would be great if you decide to use it, um, the notebook for maybe each week you change them out, or if you use them for a whole chapter, this is really helpful to make you not have to scroll through each of the slides trying to find which one you're looking for. And I'll show you how to do that real quick. So say we want this to go to, um, I'm gonna say the warm up for July, for example. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy what I want to be linked. And then you're gonna come up here and do insert link to the little um, paper clip. And then you can type an actual link in here and I'll show you how to do that later on. Or you can link it to a slide in the presentation. And then I want it to go to this slide right here because that's the warm up. So that's slide four. Okay, so I'll find slide four, um, apply. And so now when I want to go look at the warm up for July 10th, it'll take me right there. So that's super awesome. Here, students, um, I just pretended to have a student fill out this information. So the date, the topic, and the essential question. And then again, here's just a warm up. So where students would take kind of the um, template page we had and then put in what they um, noticed and wondered during the warm up. 
Um, another thing I really like about this um, digital interactive notebook is that you can put in things that you've already created. So this is just something that I've already created. It's the number systems um, graphic organizer. And so this I could use as maybe a note sheet and then have students write down things that they notice on um, kind of some big takeaways with this graphic organizer. But then I also have a graphic organizer that's blank where then I could have students come up with their own examples. So then students would write, I came up with these examples and then put in an example of an integer, a whole number, an irrational number, and so on. So again, that's really cool if you already have um, items that you've already created that you can still put them in your notebook and be good to go. So here is, um, so say I want students to go ahead and watch a YouTube video. So say that we're doing some type of digital um, learning and I want them to watch a YouTube video that I created, for example. Here I could just wrote, watch this video and take notes. When they click on it, because again, I would um, tell my students whenever you see red, you need to click on it and fill it out. Um, so then it will automatically take them to this YouTube video. So that's really cool. So I'll show you how I did that. So I just inserted a text box. And then um, I'm going to just press the paper clip. And then I want this to say um, July 10th video. And then I want it to go to this page. And then I can apply that. And so here it says July 10th video. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, make it into a font I like, and then make it red. And so then again, students would see, oh, July 10th video, I need to watch that, click it, and then it takes them right to that video. So I think that is a really cool feature that you can embed videos, you can embed really anything that has a link into your notebook, which is awesome. This I just left blank because that would be kind of what the students are filling out. Here's our next um, lesson. So this would be July 12th. Now we're talking about adding and subtracting integers. Um, and then there's my essential question right here. Next I said, um, so say that this was the warm up component for this lesson. And so up on the board, I have two different problems and they can either solve negative six plus five using the two color um, counters or another problem. So you can have students create their own counters or you can include this in their notebook. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you how I created these little counters real quick. I just go to um, the shapes, make a circle, and then I just click down and it makes a really good sized um, counter model. So I just put that down and then I change the color because red usually means negative. And then there you go. And then you can press control C and then control V and then just do that a couple of times. And then it kind of uh, does that really cool thing where you can see that there's multiple counters. So that's just how you make those real quick. And then the really nice thing about this is then students can show you how they would solve this problem. So here we start with negative six because that's our first number. Okay, so I started with negative six and now I need to add in. So that means I put in five of my counters. So that'd be one, two, three, four. Five. And then we know if we have a red and a yellow that that's a zero pair. So then we're only left with one negative counter. So we know our answer is negative one. So students then could um, insert a text box or you can already have one here for them and say, um, I put in six negative counters and then created and then put in my um, positive five counters, created zero pairs. Um, which resulted in one negative um, counter, that sort of thing. So it's really easy that we can just move these around and have students show their work. Another way that I thought they could use this was, um, so if this is another example, in order to solve negative five plus two, I'm using a number line. So then they just have this number line that you can already have in there for them. And then they could just show you how they would solve that. So I would start at negative five, um, go in the positive direction two, and then I'd be left at negative three. I can go ahead and show you how to create a number line really quick. Um, I watched a video from Lindsay Bowden who shows you how to do that and it's so helpful. So I'll show you how to do that real quick but I'll also link her video down below as well because she does an amazing job of explaining how to do 
um, how to create number lines. So I'm gonna just go to insert shapes and then do a double arrow, and this is all in PowerPoint. So then I'm gonna make it have a black outline, and then I'm gonna make it a two and a fourth um, thickness, and then we insert a um, line. And I'm gonna just make it like that, and then I can copy. And I do wanna go ahead and show you a really cool feature. So say I only want four tick marks in here. Um, what I first wanna do is change them to be black and thicker, so they're easier to see. And then, um, so say I actually, so say I now want to have them um, distributed equally, so equally spaced, I can just copy all of them and then go up here to um, align. If you don't see that, you need to just make sure you're in the format under drawing tools, go align, distribute horizontally, and then it spaces them out perfectly, which is really cool. And then you can just do an insert a um, text box and say this is negative five, negative four, negative three, and then negative two. And so I just do a really rough outline my first time and then go KG, sorry, not sorry. And then I bring it closer and then I line everything up to how I want it. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then you can just do a snipping tool and then edit, copy, and then paste it wherever you want. Maybe make it a little bigger and then you're good to go. So that's how you can create a number line as well. The last really cool activity that I think you could put into um, your interactive notebook is just this drag and drop activity. So solve each box and then drag it into the corresponding column depending on if the answer is negative, positive, or zero. So students would solve this and then, oh, this is positive, I'd put it in there. This is also positive, I could move it in here. And so the thing I really like about this digital um, interactive notebook is that we can insert things that we've already created. So we've already created maybe a mapping activity that was the first thing that we created together. I can insert that into this um, interactive notebook and so we can do it. So it's already made, I just put it into that interactive notebook. I can also include links to videos into um, my classroom website, into additional resources, which again, I think is so, so helpful. So I really like this um, in terms of just making everything in one spot. I think that's super cool. So this is just some very basic research that I've done on digital interactive notebooks. Um, I can do a little bit more of an in-depth video if that's something you'd be interested in, but I think overall it has some really, really good features and um, it's really easy to share. And I'll show you again how to share that. Um, so you would go to share right here. And then you always wanna do um, anyone with the link can view, and then you can copy that. And then again, you would just copy that. And I always get rid of this part after the forward slash edit, change that into copy. And then it'll make people automatically copy that document. So that's a way that you can share it with your students and then tell them to fill out the rest of this information. So tell them to write their name in here, to write what period they're in, that sort of thing. And so the really cool thing is students are really good with using different technologies. So I think this would be really a great way for students to learn how to use Google a little bit more, but also just have a spot for them to always be able to go back and look at their notes, look at different YouTube videos that we've um, put in or different PDF um, worksheets. So overall, this was really a, a really fun activity for me to create. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll have both um, the template and my example linked down below so you can take a look at it or use it if you'd like as well. Um, have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye.